7 is a diverse team of eight students from five different middle schools around Oviedo, Florida. At our team meetings, we share ideas from our different learning environments and collectively come up with the best solution for our missions. We enjoy our team meetings where we learn and have lots of fun at the same time. Our strategy for this year's game is to build a robot that picks up blocks and then deposits them in the baskets without needing the robot to turn around. We plan to use a conveyor belt, similar to an airplane baggage loader or a rock mining machine. Taking our strategy into account, we designed our robot with these key properties. A sturdy chassis, large contact area with the ground, a low center of gravity, and balance between speed and maneuverability. We designed our vulnerable attachments to be flexible so that they can handle the impact. This design helped us in our first event, both when the other robots hit us and when we accidentally crashed into walls. We used Creo to help model a robot on the computer without having to physically build it. This saved a lot of time and allowing us to try multiple ideas. Creo also helped us making our robot modular. This allows us to test various modules individually and not affect the testing of the current robot. Here we see Jared using Algadoo to design our autonomous flipper. We use Algadoo to help test the proof of concept in our designs. It simulates physics laws and helps us show what will work and what won't work in the real world. We use the laser cutter to make some of our custom parts out of acrylic and wood. Here we are making the base plate for our flag spinner. The clear acrylic helps us align our flag spinner. It feels good to design a part, cut it out, and have it function the way you imagined it. Team Super 7 uses Robot C to program a robot. This was a big change from us last year using NXTG. This year, our autonomous program consists of routines following color lines, finding the I.O. beacon, and turning on precise angles. Using these routines, we were able to successfully and accurately complete the autonomous mission every time. Team Super 7 loves to share our first experiences to motivate people in our community to join the first family. This year, we worked with Renaissance Robotics at two events. At the Train the Trainer event, we introduced FLL and FTC to over 50 future coaches and mentors. At the Mini Maker Fair, we taught many young children how a robot works and sparked their interest in FLL. We also presented our robot to over 100 students at the HSCF Community Center. The response was very positive. Since this is our first year in FTC, we had to buy all of the hardware and software needed for our robot. Our budget for this season was $6,700. We raised this money from our sponsors and through team contributions. We worked with the Renaissance Robotics to build the fields for the Tesla League and volunteered to set it up for the tournaments. In return, the league reimbursed the cost for the field, mat, and perimeter. This was a big help for us. Team 7477, thanks you for your time.